Hello, my name is Zach. I'm a SolidWorks support tech with Go Engineer, and occasionally a customer will call in asking if it's possible to change the template of an old part to a new custom template. And while there's no function in SolidWorks to accomplish this directly, there is a workaround that I will outline in this video. First, I think it's important to mention that when you are saving a custom part template, what you're generally saving are document properties. To access document properties, we will go to Tools, Options, and click Document Properties. Now, all of these properties, when changed, will only be saved to the active document. So any changes you make here, when you click OK, those do not get saved across all part documents. The other thing you're saving is custom properties, which can be found in File, Properties. And these are any specific properties that you maybe want to get loaded to a title block when you make a drawing, like weight, description, uh, material, part number, drawing number, and so forth. So what I have is a file that I've created just using a SOLIDWORKS standard default template. And you can see that it has uh, no custom properties and all the document properties are just what's installed by default in a default template. So what I want to do is change the template of this part to a custom template that I've made that has these custom properties and has um, changes made to the document properties. So to do that, what I'll do is open up that template. I just want to show you that there are a few custom properties here and the document properties are different than what's installed by default as well. So to do this, what we're going to do is go to the insert menu, click part. And so what you want to do is browse to the part that you've created with the wrong template. And in a property manager, we're going to choose break link to original part. It's important that we do this and I'll show you why. We're just going to click OK. And you'll notice in the feature tree now we have a folder that says mounting plate features. If we wouldn't have changed that setting to break link to original part, it would have just brought in a solid body. And there would be no features there. And the only way that you could edit that part is to open the original part file and make those edits. So important to break the link. And so what we'll do next is just right click on this folder and choose delete. And that brings over the features to the original file. And now you'll notice that the custom properties are there and any document properties that you've changed in tools options will be the same as the new template as well. The problem is I had a few configurations in this file that did not get brought over to the new part. It only brings over the active configuration. So what we can do is go to our original part file and insert a design table. To do this, we'll go to Insert, Tables, and choose Design Table. And we're going to choose Auto Create and hit OK. And this is going to gather all the information from our configurations, our dimensional changes, and everything that we need to make these configurations in a new file. Just click anywhere out in space, and you'll see that you have a Tables folder. And what we're going to do is expand that and right click on design table and choose save table. It's going to update the design table and ask us where we want to save the file. Already had one saved, so I'm just going to save over that one. And then we're going to go to our part with the new template, go to insert, tables, design table, and this time we're going to choose create from file. Then we can browse, pick the design table that we created in the original part, hit open, and hit OK. It will start the process of entering all that data into the new part. And we can go to the configurations tab and see that we now have all those configurations. 
at this point you could delete the design table if you wanted to or just keep it there it's fine and the next thing to do would be to do a save as and give this file a new name or file it over the original part name that you had already created that concludes this video thank you for watching